Hello children, welcome to your channel Shubhashree ma'am. How are you all? I hope all of you are fine. I am also fine. So let us start. Today again we will learn some more trigonometric formula, the tricks by which you can learn all the formulas easily. And you will write all formulas and you will use all formulas in a correct way. You will write the correct identities for your sum. So let us start. So first uh, I will tell you that uh, pre our previous class we have learned with this uh, hexagon that tan theta equals to tan theta equals to sin theta by cos theta this way all these we have already learned. Now today we will learn some more ok. So let us start uh, again we have I have drawn one hexagon you can see here and this hexagon I have joined all these diagonals these three diagonals I have joined. And then I have started here for sin, sin, cos, then opposite here it is tan, opposite to tan, there it is cot, then cosec, all c's are here on the right hand side, and the last one is sec. So, from this we can understand the opposite. By diagonally, you can see that sin theta and cos theta both are sitting where? Both are sitting in the opposite vertices right. So, uh, the opposite of sin theta is cosec theta, opposite of cos theta is sec theta and opposite of tan theta is cot theta or we can say some other way that sin theta equals to reciprocal of cosec theta right. So, let us see. Achha, um, so, before that let us do one something more ok, then I am coming back in that. If we work with these three, these two tan theta, sin theta and cos theta and sin theta, I mean these 1, 2, 3. If we work on these three tan, I have given the arrow you see tan to sin and cos to sin. Why, why I have done this? You can see with the help of this we can write, number 1 we can write tan theta multiplied by cos theta equals to what? Equals to sin theta. This identity you can got easily with the help of this hexagon means if we take three, three factor that is sin, sin and cos, if we multiply these two extreme one, then the answer will come the middle one. Right, it is right, uh, it is very easy now, nah? easy to remember. Now, I am taking one more, ex one more example, one more setting I am taking. I am taking uh, this cot and sec, uh, cot and cosec and sec and cosec. So, what we can write? We can write one more, we can write that cot theta into sec theta cot theta into sec theta equals to what? Equals to cosec theta. Because I told you if we take three cases then cot theta, sec theta, cot theta, cosec theta and sec theta. These three I am taking. So, I said the multiply of two extreme means cot theta and sec theta. These two if we multiply cos theta into sec theta equals to what will come? The middle one that is the cosec theta. Uh, this way you can find the other also. Just like you can take, if you take cot theta, cot theta then you take cosec theta, uh, cos theta and sin theta. If you are tele, taking, then what will happen? Cot theta, cosec theta, sin theta. These three I am taking. So, you can say easily cot theta into sin theta equals to what? Cos theta. So, this way you take three and then multiply the ex two extreme, then you will get the answer that is the middle one. So funny, very nice and easy trick. So, so to memorize the formulas or identities. So just remember the hexagon and where you are the placing, uh, place the sine, cos, cot, cosec, sec and tan properly. I will tell you better you start from this tan. You start from this tan, then you write sin, cos, then opposite to cot that is tan that is cot and 
this right hand side all C is cos is there, cot is there, so cosec and where is the remaining one sec that you write there. So, do not do mistake in writing this otherwise everything will go wrong ok. So, write this correctly draw the super hexagon and write the identities ok. This is not the end let us do something more. Here I am telling you here I am writing 1 ok number 1 number 1 I have written in the middle then you see is diagonally sin theta diagonally I am writing sin theta into cosec into I am, I am giving multiplication sign cosec theta sin theta into cosec theta equals to what 1 you in middle there is 1 and you are also number 1 super 1 super hexagon super 1 ok. So, sin theta in multiply by cos theta equals to 1 this is also one identity another identity again we can write this diagonal you take this one cos and sec do two are there. So, cos theta multiply by sec theta equals to what equals to 1 automatically you can do this one tan theta and cot theta if you multiply then what you will get tan theta multiply by cot theta equals to 1 and from here this 3 we got from here you can write from this number 1 you can write sin theta equals to what sin theta equals to 1 by cosec theta right 1 by cosec theta means sin theta equals to the reciprocal of reciprocal of sin theta is cosec theta. So, sin theta equals to 1 by cosec theta same way you can write cos theta equals to what easily you can write cos theta equals to what 1 by sec theta and what about tan theta equals to 1 by cot theta and cot theta also equals to 1 by tan theta same way sec theta I have written cos theta equals to 1 by sec theta same way sec theta also equals to 1 by cos theta and cosec theta equals to also 1 by sin theta. So, these all we have learned and so easily I hope all of you enjoyed right. So, if you liked it, enjoy it, tell me, then I will bring some more trigonometric formulas and identities because on the basis of this our super hexagon and you will learn all easily. Okay? So, today is this much and bye bye.